How's it going everyone? David from DOD Media. Today I'm going to try and sell you a template, if I'm honest. Figure straight up honesty is best. Now to give you a bit of context, I often find myself wanting to type text on the screen in Premiere Pro during an edit for myself or for a client. It's a nice effect to have where the text just types itself on like a typewriter effect. And unfortunately, there's no way to do that in Premiere Pro, or at least none that I know of. There's no way to do that in the Essential Graphics text panel. There's just, there's, that option isn't there. You have to go to After Effects to do it, animate it in After Effects, and then bring it back over to Premiere Pro. And that's fine for me, I know how to do that, but I know that a lot of people don't know how to use After Effects necessarily, and so that's just not really an option for them to do a simple piece of writing on text. And I found myself doing this process back and forth and back and forth between Premiere Pro and After Effects quite a lot to the point where I thought, you know what, it would be a lot more time efficient to make a template that I can just import into Premiere Pro and just do the type on effect in Premiere Pro using a motion graphics template. And so I started making a template which originally was just intended for myself. And then I started thinking that perhaps other people might also be interested in getting this template because that means they don't have to go to After Effects to type on some text. It just, it just baffles me that this doesn't exist in Premiere Pro. They're probably gonna see this and then make it for Premiere Pro, which will make this whole video redundant. And I hope they do, I really hope they do. But if they don't, well, let me tell you a little bit about this template. The way this template works is pretty simple. You install it in Premiere Pro and you access it through your Essential Graphics panel. In there, you can edit the text field, which can support multiple lines. It's not just a one line job. And I've enabled it so that you can change the fonts as well. So whatever font you have installed on your machine, you can use that font. If that font has sub fonts or sub genres, sub genres, sub styles, let's call them. Let's call them sub styles. If it has sub styles like italic or bold or extra bold or fine or that kind of thing, then you can use those too. And if it doesn't have that, if it's literally just one font, I've also enabled faux styles. Faux means fake in French. Fake styles so it can basically simulate it being italic, so it can italicize it or it can bolden it for you even if that font doesn't support that format natively. Then on top of that, you can increase the font size. Instead of having to scale the whole template up, you can just increase every single letter's font size as one. So you don't risk getting any artifacts on your letters when you're scaling that font size up to something really big. Then on top of that, I added a few custom expressions in After Effects so that you can change the color of the text, so that you can add some leading and some tracking. So the space between the letters and the space between the lines, because as I said, it's a multiple line job. And finally, I added the option of being able to define yourself how long in seconds you want that write on period to be. So if you want it to write on really fast, you just set it to like 0.5 seconds. But if you want that write on to be quite slow because you've got a lot of lines in there and you don't want it to just like flash on, then you can set that to like 10 seconds and it's all there and it all works and it eases in and eases out ever so slightly. And the template comes with three different versions, justified left, justified center, and justified right. That way it fits all your needs. So there you go. I don't really know what else there is to say about it. It's, it's a typewriter effect. And until Premiere Pro includes it, well, I hope you enjoy using this one if you choose to buy it. There's a link in the description which will take you to the typewriter template page on my Selfie store. And if you do buy it and you find that there are features that you would like added to it, let me know and I can see if I can add those to it so that when I update that package on Selfie, Selfie, whatever, that you can download that updated version and use that with the features that you've requested implemented. All right, I can't think of anything else I want to say about that template other than I hope you enjoy using it if you decide to buy it. Cheers. All right. What do you think of this lighting? Got it on a grid. Looks good. It looks good. Cool.